Well, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Dark Yanova channel with some more from the depths. And welcome to the sandbox mode, obviously. And this is the starting boat you spawn in on the sandbox mode, but we won't be using it because, first, it's kind of cheaty. I want to work for my own designs, and second, its hull is terrible. It's gonna get blown up by torpedoes pretty fast. So, we're here to build our first ever vehicle for campaign mode. And to be honest, first ever vehicle that I planned on. All I built till now is plates <laughs> with hovercraft plates, plate boats, plate helicopters, and stuff. But this time, we're gonna make it aerodynamic. Let's jump right into it and we'll start with the wooden block. Of course, every vehicle starts with the wooden block. And to be honest, I'm very fond of little and speedy builds in this game. And we have a resource limitation of six to 7,000 to begin with. So it's gonna be a small hovercraft. That is what I'm gonna make. There we go. And mirror mode activated that will be the profile of our hovercraft should be good enough and yeah this is a habit I need to get rid of never build your craft with single blocks guys because suppose this hull suppose this is a hull and you fill it up with single blocks and the rockets hit suppose right here it will destroy a single block suppose there's a weak rocket hitting it it will destroy a single block and the hull is breached but if you build it out of beams a the every time you upgrade to a larger beam the health is upgraded in a factor of more than one because a wooden block is 120 HP but a wooden block 2 meter long beam is 300 HP it should have been 260 HP but there is a gain of 40 HP here so it's harder to destroy the beams and suppose we make this hull out of 4 meter beams if a rocket hits here a block won't be destroyed and it has more HP and it won't cause a hull breach so we should really do that. We should really build our builds with beams. There we go. I'll cut that down. A beam. That should be good. Four meter beams. Yep. Those fell off. And we'll activate mirror mode on this thing. And that looks good for hovercraft profile. And that looks even better. I can't fill it up? Why though? Can't fill your area is not... I'm a stupid! Of course my area is not complete. There we go and you Mr. Block need to go. So that is the plate I want for my hovercraft. And we're gonna make it aerodynamic and not just a plate. So we'll be using 3 meter high blocks beams whatever
honestly guys I was trying to keep it small just because we're restricted with 6000 resources but then I realized one wood block is one material cost and these down slopes it doesn't even cost a full material so now I think it's gonna be too top heavy and too it's it's too narrow all right so I'm gonna change it a little bit more <laughs> Alright guys, this is the basic idea of the hovercraft I am gonna build and it's pretty small, I, I think I will save this to actually have a look at its material cost, I don't know if I can have a look at that in game so we will be naming it Mr. Hover, <laughs> quite a weird name and what is your material cost Mr. Hover? And these are everything I was playing for 8 hours weird and stuff and that is one download thing 26,000 wow Mr. Hover costs only 891 material still now so that is good so what my basic idea is uh, the engines and the AI will be in this room so I think I'll replace them with metal how much? Is metal cost metal block material five not too bad to be honest 20 material and what does this cost four material yeah I think <laughs> metal is this overkill for now that will shoot up our material cost so we'll use steam engines because I don't know I just don't want to carry fuel they blow up and they're bad so we'll make steam engine controller here right in the back does that sound good no it can quite easily get blown up blown up if I do that and we'll do wow even the smallest of boiler that is so huge no wonder y you don't use steam engine in small builds but uh, decorative only why would I want that and then we will need a gearbox actually how much does the gearbox cost 10 only so that can be viable actually for the crash piston 2 meters so the piston is pretty big Yep, pretty big, pretty big, pretty big, pretty darn big. So, what we can do is sink in the pistons like that. Can we actually do that? Upwards? No, I want them downwards, facing downwards. Yeah, that can work that can indeed work and now the question is can I supply them connect piston to a gearbox via a crank yes I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that so guys what I have done here is here's the steam boiler and these pipes connect to these pistons and those pistons go down and three case cranks which in turn connect to this 
small gearbox which will provide us quite a lot of power and we can shove in some resources in here as well so we'll we'll keep material gatherers here because we don't want the ammo to be anywhere no material gatherers seriously material storage material storage small wooden crate eh, small 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 yeah we'll do that material storage and we don't want any ammo near us so that is how much oh wow steam engines that is that much power 157 power for this big thing burn rate I'll increase the burn rate a little 70 okay that is a lot of power there and we'll see if this power is enough to hold up this hovercraft it's quite tiny so I think a few jet engines will do so we'll see to that and if it doesn't work we'll replay we'll be replacing that with fuel engines
On second thought guys, <laughs> this is indeed a terrible placement for my ammo. <laughs> really, why why did I even kind of think of that? I think I will heavily rely on ammunition ammunition processors for this one because I don't want my thing to blow up four ammunition processors actually three ammunition processors should be enough I would suppose but we will see we will see now for the test of how much ammunition processors we need we'll do that and force assign all of them hmm. three ammunition storage I mean processors seems to be not enough <laughs> of course it's not Oh, we need a lot of coolers. And... <laughs> wow, that recoil is too much. That recoil is indeed too much. And we will be placing some recoil ab absorbers.
And there we go guys, my ugly hovercraft is complete with lights and all of things and I think I did not forget, yeah reclaim zero from our ships, what is that, I don't know what that is but yeah, our detection system is there, there is a rangefinder, there is the radar and another 360 radar under there I realized that <laughs> placing blocks above the thrusters don't make them don't work kinda and this is not the best design but it should work it should, I'm just saying it should and these have radar seekers in them hopefully actually 
Active radar seekers, infrared seekers, yep. Active radar seekers, infrared seekers. So I kind of forgot to save these and assign design to all same like missiles. So active radar seekers will save this as these are basically what I was playing around with. Obli ship power, yeah, I'll save that. I, I can't be bothered to name them right now. And we will load this and assign desire to all same lead missiles and only now am I realizing that I kind of forgot the forward thrusters jeez how in the name of world did I do that <laughs> oh my god, alright guys, finally, this thing is completely complete, it has forward thrust, it can turn, it maintains altitude, its pitch and roll are pretty stable like a sky fortress and this thing, I had to add as you guys can see, I had to add two boilers of two, uh, two chambers long, two boiling chamber long steam engine and another two steam engine, one boiling chamber long to achieve the power this thing needs but I am actually happy about the amount of resources it costs. Look at that, where is it? Mr. Hover cost only 7681 resources which is very cheap to be honest I was thinking 6000 but then 
this is pretty weapon heavy as well a high shooting advanced cannon and eight rockets for a beginning hover and I'm pretty happy about it it just takes a while to get its pitch control now it has control its pitch and look at that it only I mean it only requires so less power to run in a straight line and it quite it, and it achieves 24 meters per second which is amazing and the lights look amazing as well but the question is can it can the AI control it oh whoa 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 control you're moving out can it move doesn't look like it doesn't look like it um what did I miss here? I don't <laughs> the AI isn't controlling this thing. What did I miss here? I think just used in Yep, that is what I missed. I'm using a naval AI, so yeah, that will happen. There we go. <laughs> Oh wow, we traveled so far. Get back. Get back, mister. Should be good enough. We'll spawn another marauder. Don't get hit by the crime cannon, please. The missiles are working pretty well as well. Yep, straight in the marauder's engine. Hmm. It's hitting pretty hard. But there is not enough bullets. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Shots taken straight in the face. <laughs> and why did it drop down? <laughs> I don't get why it dropped down. No, I'm missing the action. What the heck? I can't get out of this thing. Uh, screw that. I want to see what's happening. It still is fighting, but it is down here. No idea why, though. Oh! Oh! Wow! Cram cannon! Cram cannon shots! Really dangerous! This thing is not powerful enough. This no! Not main menu! Jesus Christ! I want to destroy all the vehicles. And unfortunately, I ran out of time for this episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this speed build. This is the first of its kind of a video I'm making. And the AI is kind of not perfect yet, but I will be tweaking that. And I will meet you guys in the next episode. See you guys in the next one.